Good afternoon, I'm Nick Davis. Welcome back to our 16th episode of this series, and hopefully our final episode, because I'm having to have keep this game in a state of, like, I'm not updating it, and that's really painful, because there's a bunch of new updates for this game, including the La Resistance update, and I want to get that DLC, but I have to slog through the Uyghur Republic first. Uh, last time we moved, we were moving all our troops, and then we're about to have to invade the Uyghurs. Hopefully it goes good. Just in case, I'll see if I can train out uh, just 12 Bannerman infantry and just, let's see, let's slap them with the Red Army here, because... And let's put these guys on the border right here. Just to break the capital. But yeah, we're gonna have to wait. I just wanna get the series over, I think. Let's see if we can demand Macau. Seize Macau. See if they uh, return our treaty ports. It's also threatened East Asia. Deutsches Ostaschen. Fate of Transimor. Yeah, we're gonna occupy them because Russia will declare war on us, and we will we'll keep that smexy borders. Yeah, I, th I, th I think we won't have any problem with this war. Where, where are these random... Heavy fighter. Now let's see if we don't get any backlash from this. From the western powers. Portugal surrenders Macau. Great. Yo, good to see. I think we're so powerful now that they'll just surrender him. And it doesn't seem we have been a focus to destroy the legitation cities. And then they'll mean we'll have to fight the they part of the Reichspakt or the Entente? Hmm. I think once I'll d once I destroy the Uyghurs, I'll just console command and annex them. Cause I don't think we we want to go through a whole nother war. But I'm just waiting for these guys. But look at the kind of templates. Russian state declared war on the Kingdom of Finland, which is in the Reichspakt, so Russia's doomed. German cities are ceded. Okay, yeah, I think that war with Russia is probably convincing them to give over their cities. Uh, yeah, I think destroy the Uyghurs. They have seven days to rest up and get ready. Yeehaw! But I, I predict we'll, we'll once we get this over with we'll console command console annex this and then our Ching Manchu restoration series will be done. Uh, I want to like look how big we made the Ching. It's just Snapchat. They're blowing up my phone. And they're training right here. 
Yeah, we we obviously. So we're gonna Billy. put this on like the. Hmm, forgot how to oh. Aggressively ag execute bot battle plans. Yeah. Because we're gonna just punch the runes. Because we have to take Kashgar, Aksu, Potan, and their capital. And it's not fun at all. I'll just say that. Not fun. Because they got 100 war support, 95 stability. Yeah, we're about to wipe them off the face of their. Return them to the Chinese Manchu fold. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And we can just automatically. Yeah, it's going as well as you expect. I thought it was going to be a major slog, but... But watch it suddenly change and like every night every look at that actually. Seventy four men versus eleven thousand. Really? Socialist Republic of Italy has capitulated. Uh, let's work which one's moving. Let's actually wait a second right here. And yeah, here comes the expected hit of supplies. Because we're literally like overwhelming them with our divisions. Fighting wars up here is a nightmare. Yeah. A militia man to guard their. Forty percent attrition. Yo, good to see. Oh wait, this is one big province. If we can cut across here, we can get rid of a majority of their divisions. And look at that. 176 versus 27,000. You gotta get past this border right here. And we're not facing any issues of supply, we're just facing issues of our men completing orders too fast. So fast, in fact, that... Wait, never mind, there's, there's an encirclement opportunity right here. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's so dumb. Let's see if we can get these divisions circled. Let's move these 12 divisions over here. But another problem is like the sheer amount of divisions they have. But yeah, look, we're fixing that. Really easy. Actually, trucks, their army. Aren't that primitive? <sighs> oh wait, we have close air support. What are we doing? Make the war go fast. Do we have any airports nearby there? was the next. Something's happening. We gotta get my game's chugging along now. Stop. Just choose our battles. I just wish there was an airport around here. But look at that 49% attrition. We're like the basically the Imperium in uh, Warhammer 40k. 12,000 is nothing. Oh, wait, never mind. It's like trying to make an like uh, analogy to how like cash, how much casualties we can get, and like we don't care. But like 12,000 isn't that much. In terms of manpower. Oh, look at that. What a big Qing Empire we got. Uh, now we need this front to push to Kashgar once we finish this pocket up. Let me see if I Oh wait, never mind, I have, I have airplanes assigned. I don't think they can actually reach it though. No, they can't. Ten minutes left to spare, we could definitely finish this war up. 
but I think this is a pretty decisive victory. Oh no, he got, he got wounded. Okay, we just took a bunch of their military factories. They have zero military factories, and, but somehow they have manpower. Yeah, I think defense modifiers don't really help when your divisions are absolute crap. Yeah, it's cash go now, I knew it. I think all we have to do is take cash guard. Then we're routing them pretty easily. Let me actually uh, TD bug. A next black. Holy crap, oh my god, we. Nick Davis just cheated, uh. Yeah, I'm, there is there is no focus for us to take it. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys would be mad anyway if we didn't take back the cities. But and also, as I said before, I sort of want to end the series so I can play New Hearts Iron Four. I'm going to play after the end next as my next series. They're offensive, so we just need to rush Kashgar. I wish we had some mechanized stuff. That'll, that'll make it go really? quick. But look at this. Like, I think there are fights are lasting like less than a day. I was thinking of doing a recap on this campaign and like seeing the mistakes I made, but I don't think I really made any mistakes. I did all pretty fast and like pretty well, if you can say. My only thing is, like, things could have got a lot worse. But, luckily, my skill saved you, poor viewer, of having to witness that. I'm just good at this game. Just naturally good. I'm like Ninja Fortnite. I'm the Ninja of Hearts Iron 4. Except I'm actually pretty bad. My, I just, like... I see these people who are actually playing stuff. They got like, uh, they got tank division stuff. I'm horrible at tank, like building actual tank divisions. Like, I think, my from my perspective, like anything can be solved with infantry divisions. Just throw infantry at them. And I love playing like small revolt-ish nations, like the Left Clover Gang, where like basically playing as a smaller revolt that breaks out like a dying country and stuff and that's very infantry heavy I like that I like that a lot Let's see which army will capture it first
有何指示？Uyghurs just surrender. Let's hold these divisions in place right here. Come on. If you hear that rustling, that's just me scratching my shoulder. Hey, we don't, we don't need attack right here. We don't need five divisions either. Province and two provinces away from Kashgar. Of course, these Uyghurs will just learn their place, except for Chinese masters. I I really hope that doesn't offend like the actual Uyghur activists out there. Hope goes out to you, brave Muslims fighting against the oppressive Chinese. But these these are Manchus, so not really like the Han Communist Party. Should have, Jiang Wei. Like, yeah, hmm. Interesting to think about. But Communist Party, what? There is only Manchu Imperial China, and it shall be for another ten thousand years. Every division we can in Kashgar. <laughs> Nearly half a million. Once we take Kashgar, we'll fall. Infantry divisions about to be grinded to death. Yeah, this war has been pretty easy. Thought it was going to be some huge grind. It seemed that way. Just how much divisions they had. But our divisions are just so much better that we could just instantly grind them to death. And yet, that's the war one. War's over, boys. We can go home. Uh, look at this mighty Qing Empire. And with one minute left to spare. One minute left to spare. I'm Nick Davis. This is my last episode of my Manchu Restoration series. We made it took us till 1942 and we even took some Russian lands we beat up Japan we took Korea and we unified the Chinese Empire under the basically the young China party which means we have no zilly and so we're truly under the control of the Manchus and that has truly been a Manchu restoration I'm Nick Davis I'll see you guys next time when I play after the end probably in about a week or actually now, Crusader Kings 2 doesn't have to update, but I need to catch up on all the hearts around 4 I missed. So I'm Nick Davis. I'll see you guys next time. And that's right on the timer.